Hello and welcome to Deliberately Creative. I'm Stephanie and I want to welcome you to a... This is a do-over, okay? Just Let's just get it right out there. This is a do-over. I was so excited. I painted the most wonderful rock. And I only got half of it recorded because I stopped and I took a break and welcomed my husband home and we ate dinner and then I went and finished painting the rock and I didn't hit record properly. I was ready to cry. This is the rock that I painted. Isn't it adorable? I am so so pleased with how it turned out. So now I'm going to do a rock that is similar. It will not be exactly the same because the shape of the rock is different. <laughs> this is, it's going to be good though. I will have two rocks and later this week I have a resin project that I'm going to be doing and there's probably going to be a little bit of leftover resin. So one of the rocks is going to get coated with resin and the other rock will get coated with a triple thick spray on varnish. And then we can compare and see how they look. So it works out that this is a good thing. I just had to get over my disappointment because this was so much fun and so cute. And I was so clever while I was talking. I don't know if I can do that again, but let's get started and I'll share with you what I'm doing. So I sketched out uh, some different kitty cats doing the fishbowl thing. And this is the one most like what I ended up painting. If you look at this one, the nose is all the way down here. And this one, the nose is actually right up here behind the goldfish. I like how that turned out. So I'm going to be doing it similarly. So let's get started. And I will share my my thoughts as I go along. River rocks, beach rocks, rocks out of the garden. These rocks were rocks that were purchased by someone. They had been used in the landscaping at a house and the gal who put her call out on Vancouver rocks and said, hey, I've got a huge pile of rocks. Come and get some if you want to paint on rocks. So I went up and got some rocks from her. When you get a rock home, scrub it down really well with just plain water and a scrub brush and let it dry. Then give it at least one, if not two, coats of gesso or white paint. Or if you need a dark background, use black gesso or black acrylic paint to give your rock a nice base to be working on. This rock, sits this way pretty well. So I think this is the direction it's going to go. I will be using uh, soft body black acrylic paint, titanium white, naphthol red light, phthalo blue, Hansa yellow medium, and burnt sienna. So those are my colors that I will be using. And I am drawing on this rock with a Graphitone pencil, and it is a water-based pencil. So it will wash away. The graphite will actually just disappear into the painting, and it won't bleed through. I am going to go ahead and start drawing this in. So this one, I had it going all the way out to the edges. Well, maybe I'll just do it this way. I'm just using the edge. of my color wheel to give me a fishbowl to give me the that round outside edge of the fishbowl how'd that go well that's that's pretty good it's a little off center maybe i'll work it out just a little bit There we go. So 
So this is the basic, the basic outline of my fishbowl. Not too bad. Make sure that it's going all the way out to that edge. There we go. So there's going to be rocks going across the bottom of the fishbowl like that. There's going to be a goldfish. here in the middle of the fishbowl. Like that. And then there's going to be the kitty cat. The kitty cat, his eyes are going to be about here and here which is going to make his nose line up somewhere here in the middle of the fish. And then his little mustache and chin are here. And his fluffiness is coming out like this. And it's, you know, reflecting. But then his ears are actually going to be sticking up. And we might even have his fluffiness coming out from behind the, the fishbowl on that one. There we go. I like that. So let's see, I, I need to tip it up just a little bit. This eye is a little small. And the nice thing about this pencil is that it is water soluble. So we'll go like that. Just get a few little lines on here. Okay, he's going to be cute. I don't know if I'm going to have it go outside the... That first line might be where I ended up. And not all the way out. I don't want to go all the way out. Now this down here, this is all rocks. So let's get started painting this and see what happens. <laughs> we'll see if I get a better rock this time than I did last time. Now one of the things that I did last time and I'm really happy I did was I just put the main body of the fish in first and I just let that sort of ride until after I've got all the face done. Then I came back and I did the rest of the goldfish. So I think that's what I want to do this time also. Starting off, we're going to have some naphthol red light, phthalo blue, Hansa yellow medium, Now there's going to be titanium white. Okay, so that's all of my golden colors. And then I have soft body black by Liquitex. And and Burnt Sienna. All the colors are listed down below in the more information box. If you are interested in what brands I used and what brushes I'm using, check down below that show more, click it. It will give you the full list of all of my materials.
Landscape supply companies many times will have rocks. Craft stores are selling rocks in their floral departments. And if you have a friend that has landscaping that they want to get rid of, you can get rocks that way too. <laughs> Number four, cat's tongue. Getting it slightly wet. I want to put a layer of cream for most of this kitty cat. So I'm using the white and the burnt sienna with a touch of yellow to kind of warm it up and then a bit more white and a bit more white. <laughs> There we go. So now I'm going to go ahead and we've got an ear up here. And we have an ear up here. These are outside of the glass fish bowl. And then we've got some hair sticking up over the top. And then I don't think I'm going to show the hair sticking out behind over here. That'll just get painted out with whatever background I end up putting in. And I'm using cream so that way it's a good base coat underneath. The cream is a color in this kitty cat that I'm doing. I'm going to paint right up close to the fish. So yes, by the time you start painting it in, you paint over your pattern, your traceable, your design that you've put on. That's okay. Because you know, if you drew it once, you can draw it again. And if you didn't draw it, if you traced it from a picture that you downloaded off of my website then you've got the picture and you can resize that you can make it any size you want all I'm doing though is I will adjust the nose on this right here so that it it matches what I'm doing in this picture but then you you will have to resize it to whatever size you want it to be to fit your rock and down that edge okay. so now i'm going to put a base coat of the blue down here Now, I'm not going to do a lot of work in the eyes right now, but I'm going to go ahead and get a base coat of yellow and white. Let's go ahead and get just the base coat on the goldfish. And the base coat of the goldfish is naphthol red light with a little bit of that Hansa yellow. And a little touch of white. <laughs> this is looking really, really weird right now. Remember, Acrylic paintings go through their, their ugly stage. They go through a period of time where they're awkward. This is very awkward right now. I'm going to go ahead and take some of that burnt sienna and a smidge of blue to kind of gray it out a little bit. We're going to get 
colors blocked in. And now we're going to give him that lovely under eye concealer fur. That's what it looks like. It looks like concealer. And then the over the eye. And I'm using the tip of the brush and I'm starting to go in the direction that the fur grows. A Grisai kitty? <laughs> not quite, not quite, but it's along those kinds of lines. Now we're going to get more of the darker brown. going to go ahead and put a bit of this white color in on his muzzle and white color in on this side this is just titanium white nothing else added into it it's actually fairly pure but it's going over in a pretty thin layer look at that and by going over in a pretty thin layer it's actually picking up color from the brush still there we go So there's ever so slightly a bit of a cream color to it. And this is that lighter color around the top over his eye. And then there will be some of that same lighter color fluff under his eye. And then there's some of this fur down here and over the top and remember he's not you're not going to see him as clearly or you shouldn't see him as clearly as you do the fish the fish you're only seeing through one layer of glass the cat you're actually seeing through two There we go. We just keep working layer after layer until it's the way we want it. And the more layers you get, the better it gets. Okay, so I'm just going to paint right over the goldfish a little bit because I can.
There we go. <laughs> okay, you see? See? He's starting to come in now. You just have to trust. You have to trust in the process. Sometimes that's just what you have to do. Trust in the process. Okay, so one more layer, I think, on the kitty of some darker fur. And then it's a matter of putting his eyes in and making the goldfish. I guess one of the things that's good about having done it once before already today is that I got practice. I was so ready to, to basically just start crying because of that user error. Because it was just user error. That's the part that's really, you know, irksome. Is that it was my own fault that it didn't get vi that it didn't get videoed properly. It's my own fault. I totally, totally own that. So coming out under the eye, doing some little fur bits. A little bit over the eye. There we go. And yes, there's going to be a bit of the, the lid, or the lid, a bit of the top of the fishbowl going right across here. So I think we're going to start putting those eyes in. So that's really when he starts coming together more, is when the eyes are really in. And that's when I can do the last details around the eyes. So what I'm going to do is get a number one detail brush. This brush is from the detail set that uh, Cinnamon Cooney has, the Art Sherpa. So I have made some blue black, and this is going to be to go around the eyes. So now I need my green layer first. My I need a layer of green, so I'm going to take some of the Hansa Yellow and the Thalo Blue, and that makes a lovely dark green. Then I'm going to take a bit of white into it around the area where it's sort of the top of the eye. I've got kind of a darker green. Just like that. I'm just going to get that green in, work it down lower. We're going to lighten that up down at the bottom because what we want is for it to end up with a dark color at the top and the lighter color at the bottom. Get that lovely kitty cat green, kitty cat green eye. And so right now it's not there's not enough difference between those colors. So I'm going to pull some white and I'm going to work some white in to that color down low. Thank you. 
Highlight on the eyes, you take some white and you take just the tiniest touch of blue, and a tiny, tiny touch of the black. And so first what you're doing is you're making a dull highlight. And that is going to be like that and like this. Okay, dull highlight. You can hardly see it. And then you take a tiny bit of pure white and you touch right over the top. Of that gray highlight. Now look. See, then you take that that white, make sure that it's thin enough so it's really fluidy on your very tiny, tiny tip of your, your brush. And you're going to go along and do just hardly touching. Mm -hmm. See, look at that. His eyes actually look like they're glossy and round. And now, yes, his ears look like they're in the wrong place. That's because when the cat's face is right up against the fishbowl, it's magnified. And so then his ears are actually in, not in proportion to the face. And that's in exactly the way it should be. We're going to go ahead and do one more quick layer on him for the for his fur. those rocks in. We're taking blue and black and a tiny bit of white on a cloud brush. And I'm going to first go in like this and just tap sort of on the the edge of the brush. So not straight up and down but sideways on the edge of the brush.
But that's a way to get lovely rocks in the bottom of the fishbowl. Turned out excellent. Now, it's going to all of a sudden change as soon as we get the goldfish in. So to get that goldfish in, I am going to take my number two, bright, get it wet. I am taking some of the yellow and a touch of the, the naphthol red light and making a very light orange. So fish eye is going to be a lovely dot of white it's a tiny little glisten of some white here on his body, maybe a little bit up there. And then there's going to be a dot of black. <laughs> and another dot very carefully since it isn't um, it isn't dry dot of white and we're going to take that white and give just a couple little dots of this white and black that's a little bit mixed on my brush right around the eye and a bright bit of the yellow on the front of his face and maybe the front of the eye there. I'm going to take this blue and a bit of white And I'm going to take it and very carefully, I'm going to just go st straight across. Just like that, even though I wasn't expecting it to go down yet. Just like that. Right across. We're getting a couple lit, you know, a couple lines are fine because it's like the rim of the container and then I'm going to make it more white and we're going to highlight
Then we're going to get more of that white so it's really hardly any of the hardly any of the blue left. I'm going to sign this because I'm really proud of this fit, this uh, goldfish and and kitty cat in the fishbowl. So I'm going to put my little my little signature on here, which is just my S. Just like that. Looks like it's part of the reflection. So I hope that you enjoyed this and make sure and check later this week for that uh, finishing video on how to finish your rocks. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions, leave me a comment down below and don't forget, go paint some rocks and hide them out in your community. You'll brighten someone's day. As always, go out, do something creative, take care of yourself so you can take care of those around you. And I hope to see you back here again really soon. Bye-bye. <music>